Ahoy! Today we're talking about the new viewer point system. And I gotta say, that system really just sucks. If you haven't been keeping up with the changes that were introduced or are currently introduced and are finalized in the next patch, the complete viewer point system on Twitch is being overhauled. Previously, you'd be able to get 7,000 viewer points per week or double that with a viewer pass by watching streams. The viewer pass for most people is a pretty good deal because of the free skin included. So let's say you get 14,000 a week and this is even better with the new season because the new skin is really cool. But in the previous season, on the previous viewer point system, you would get 50 viewer points for every 12 minutes of stream viewing. That resulted in 250 per hour, up to a maximum of 4 hours, 1000 per day, making the 7000 and then double it with the viewer points. And the great thing about that system was you could literally just watch a stream for 12 minutes and you'd have those 50 points, no strings attached. In addition to that, you could get 1000 points for voting the right team in an SPL match or 2000 points if you had the viewer pass. Throughout the year, we had three skins for 200,000 viewer points each and then other skins for 75,000 viewer points. If you reached 500,000 viewer points, you'd also get the Thor Bright skin for free on top of that. Many of these things remain in the new system. If you buy a viewer pass, you get the Sumdi skin, which is really cool. There will be three skins throughout the year, as well as a skin for reaching 500,000 viewer points that you get for free at that point. So that hasn't really changed. But everything else has in a really bad way. You actually gain more points overall now. Instead of getting 1000 points every 4 hours, you now get 1250 points every 4 hours for a total of 8750 points per week. So that's a nice bonus, right? That's a nice gain because it also means that the total amount that you can now get is 17,500 if you have the viewer pass. In addition to that, the point gain from correct SPL matches has also been increased from 1000 points to 1500 points or 3000 with the viewer pass. With the newest battle pass, you can also get 8,000 viewer points on the free track or 12,000 viewer points on the pay track. So technically, this all sounds a lot better, and I'd argue that the skins that are in the pass so far are also cooler, but that's personal preference. And I will still tell you that the new system absolutely sucks. I think I understand why it was changed. I am guessing that this had something to do with the constant updates to the Smite server, or basically putting either too much stress on Smite or on Twitch because it seems like most other games are switching over to similar systems as well. So it seems to have something to do uh, with Twitch internally and, and their systems and how they manage it. So that part makes sense. And I can also understand that Hyrus doesn't just want people to AFK watch streams all the time, even though that's basically how every viewer point system out there functions anyways. So why is the new system so bad? Because you have to claim in intervals. You can only claim points every four hours watched. That means if you watch three hours, you get nothing. If you watch 12 minutes, like you used to be able to get 50 points on that, you get nothing. And if you watch four hours, but you watch two of them on Monday and two of them on Wednesday, you also get nothing because the reset now happens on Tuesday. And even if you watch a four hour block, you now have to claim the points. If you don't claim the points in the drop system on Twitch, which you manually have to navigate to, then you will not get those points. And you have to make sure that you claim those points before Tuesday. And also, you have to claim those points if you want to gain more points. The next viewer point block is locked unless you have claimed the points of the previous block. And that's just really stupid because you constantly have to pay attention to when you're able to claim the next block of points. And especially if you're not actively watching streams all the time and you just have the tab open somewhere, you will not get any sort of notification. You will not know when it's time to claim. So you literally have to work with a timer or whatever. And that only works as long as the streamer you're watching stays online uh, and doesn't go offline in between because then you wouldn't gain any more points. So it gets super annoying. And with Twitch being a relatively unstable website in many ways, there are also many circumstances where you actually uh, will have the stream freezing on you or something and then you don't notice and you don't get any points either. Some of these complications obviously already existed before the changes to the system, but the new system makes it painfully obvious just how frustrating this is to deal with. For the last week I have been experimenting to find out how hard it actually is to claim your viewer points or to get enough viewer points. 
And from my experience, it's super frustrating. So I have two tabs in my browser that I always have open now, which already annoys me that I have to have these tabs open for the drops and for a smite stream. I have my browser open for most of the day, but obviously I close it in between if I'm playing games or sometimes when I do other processor intense work or something. So I'll have to reopen it in between. And I figured I'm just always going to have some stream running whenever I open my browser. I'm going to mute that and just not pay attention to it, do whatever I'm doing uh, just to get the viewer points on that, which is the passive way of doing it, basically. And honestly, in my opinion, the only feasible way to really claim all viewer points unless you spend a really, really high amount of time on Twitch. It is now Monday for me, and between people going offline and me not noticing, uh, Twitch not working properly and just freezing up and not counting the time, uh, me not claiming immediately when I reach 4 hours and everything else, I have now claimed 5 of the 7 viewer points packs. There's a chance that I might make it to the last one since I'm in a different time zone, so by the time that the reset comes I might be able to get all 7, but only barely and only after really trying to get them for the whole week. And it just absolutely frustrates me. It doesn't feel fun. It doesn't feel worth the effort in regards to how few viewer points you effectively get out of it as well. And then there's also the upcoming reset with 8.2. So if I don't get enough points by then or buy some extra points, uh, I'll have to, well, I I'll lose a lot of this what I'm getting here anyways. <laughs> now, obviously you have the option to outright buy the missing points with gems, but that's a lot of gems for a few skins. So you have to really, really want those skins. And I'm sure there will be more events throughout the year to get some extra viewer points that may kind of offset this a little bit. But the base system in itself is so frustrating and in my opinion so flawed that it makes everything else surrounding the system very, very unfun. I would honestly much, much rather have less viewer points gained uh, for watching streams as long as I don't have to manually claim every four hours. If Even if I just get, say... 6,000 out of that. I think I'd, it'd still be more rewarding overall and, and you'd still get more out of it than the way it works right now with having to watch four hours to even get anything and not getting anything unless you're getting a full interval of four hours and having to claim manually. And what further annoys me about this is that I know it doesn't have to work this way. I used the same claim system a while ago for the stupid final mouse aim god stuff which really don't bother with that, uh, but they had a similar claim system and after you claimed the first pouch of coins, you would then be able to gain points or gain uh, things towards points uh, in two drops simultaneously. So it was running on a system where you would get uh, something for watching two hours and something for four hours or something, I forgot what the exact numbers were. But that is something that I'm pretty sure Hyrus could implement as well, that basically by the time you have the 4 hour thing, uh, there's already an 8 hour thing running as well, and then when you reach 8 hours you can just claim the second one. So you could just scale all the viewer point bags up, and the first one requires you to watch 4 hours, then 8 hours, 12 hours, 16 hours, and so on, uh, and then start them all at the same time. I'm pretty sure that's possible, uh, at least after unlocking them once, so maybe for one week you'd have to fully unlock everything. I also find it completely unnecessary that if you haven't claimed any of the viewer points on Tuesday, they will just get removed. Why not automatically claim the drops that you haven't claimed before the next week starts and before the system resets? What's the complication with that? That can't be that hard on a technical side. In many ways, the new system really feels like it's laid out to make people earn less points while they feel like they will earn more just because they have the chance to potentially earn more if everything goes right, which it probably won't. It also heavily drives people towards the Smite Game Twitch channel more than any other channel that has viewer points, even though the idea of giving everyone viewer points was that they would all be able to benefit from that, because people are more likely to go on the stream that is most likely to be online, and the Smite Game channel is just online most of the time. So all in all, I'm really dissatisfied with the new system and I really wanted to rant about this because I think it's not good the way it is right now and I really want them to find a better solution than the current claim system, especially with these time blocks. Uh, at least get rid of the part where we have to claim manually so that if we watch 8 hours in a row, we can get 2 of these bundles. It's just super annoying the way it is right now and I don't think anyone likes it, to be honest. And that's enough of my ramblings. If you're new to the channel, feel free to sub button and maybe the bell to hear an old man complain about video game point systems. With that, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you for the next one soon. Duke Sloth, out.